Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Wolf here, and today we'll be going over the XMM4 Best Class Setup. This will be the first video in a series of videos that I'll be doing about the best class setup in the game so far. Now, the XMM4 is the first assault rifle that is on the list of assault rifles. The beauty about what they're doing right now, I guess, with the Alpha, is that you don't have to unlock... Oops. You don't have to unlock any of these guns or the attachments that come with it. You don't have to unlock. They come already unlocked for you. Now, I literally just deleted <laughs> my gunsmith thing for it on accident. But I'm just going to go over it part by part because I remember what I have on it. Now, for the XMM4, for the base with no attachments, there is slight recoil to the gun already. There's slight recoil to the gun already, but it's not bad. Now, the reason why I added an optic on it is because the iron sight isn't my favorite. The iron sight, it's, it's okay, but it isn't my favorite when it comes to long distances. Even though it's an assault rifle, it's supposed to be, it's not my favorite. I would prefer the iron sight on the AK-47. Now, for the barrel, I chose an extended barrel. A lot of people, uh, a couple of my friends asked me why I don't put the paratrooper barrel and specifically because of the aiming move speed. I would like to, I would prefer to aim my gun down a lot faster than to have a barrel that is a more damage range or whatnot. I, I prefer muzzle velocity. I prefer to be able to shoot from far away and be able to damage people and not have as much recoil to that gun. So I would recommend put on the 13.7 extended. For an under barrel, of course, just the foregrip is fine. Nothing on the body, no lasers. For the stock, I use a sprint pad so that it's you're faster to run and it won't the gun won't slow you down when you're running. For magazines, of course, I use fast mags. I'm so glad that they added fast mags back to the game. It makes so much faster reloading. So you can get those cheeky little clips of getting four kills back to back to back to back and not having a problem with, oh crap, I have to reload real quick and die while reloading. That is my that's my favorite, favorite thing. And of course for the handle, we have a quick draw handle. Like I said, I prefer being able to aim up, shoot very, very fast. And actually I remember now, I think I believe I did have a muzzle on it, the muzzle brake, which helped with the recoil control. So that is what I have for the gun itself. That's what I have for the gunsmith for the gun itself. Now for my secondary, I just have a pistol. I rarely, rarely ever need to use it. So I just have that there. For the tacticals, I use stun grenades. Uh, the stun grenades in this game does damage. If you see my last video, uh, my first game playing the my first time playing this game you saw that the stun grenade actually stuns people for a quick second they put their hands up and then they can continue shooting so it's like in that time frame you are able to actually kill people so it does deadly deadly damage in this game I also use a frag because it's always easier to stun people and then throw a frag just hold a frag throw it it's always easier to do that and I don't use a field mic I use a proximity mic now for my perks I use flak jacket of course because of the grenades and the proximity mines I also use scavenger because some guns I, I, some guns that I'll be going over in the near future for their class setup run out of ammo very very quickly and scavenger helps out so much with that and I also use Ninja, specifically because it's resist to field mics. Now Ninja, don't confuse Ninja with um, with uh, Dead Silence. Dead Silence and Ninja are not the same thing. Dead Silence, yes, yeah, Ninja, you sprint more quietly, but you're not completely silent. You, you're, you're quieter than everyone else though. And also it is resistant to field mics. What's a field mic? It's the new. Th it's a new thing that they added. The field mic is this: deploy a recording device that highlights enemy sounds on the mini map. So you will put down a field mic in a range, like an area, and anybody that walks by that field mic in that circle of area will be detected. 
So, so a lot of people use field mics in this game, and having ninja makes it so much easier to just get past those field mics and them not knowing that you're there at all. Now that's that's all really for the setup for this gun. Uh, I want to show you guys this gun in action right now. Uh, so here's the clip of, or here's the video of me using this gun. I hope you enjoy. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned, I will be coming up with more best class setups for different guns in the game that I really enjoyed and I think are the best guns in Cold War. So make sure to look out for those videos as well. Like always, please leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wolf is out. It's my God given right. It's my destiny to make it big. If y'all ever see me in the streets, you should take a flick. Cause when the time comes and I'm on, might be too late and shit. And I would hate to say I told you so, but I could say I did.